Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Football Manager 2017. We're playing as Arsenal. This is Season 3. Welcome back, guys. So if you still are enjoying this Football Manager series and would like to see more, the best thing you guys can do is leave a like and a comment. The Football Manager loyalists, leave a like and a comment. It's the best way for me to gauge if you want to see more of this series on the channel compared to FIFA or, or something else. Now, I have changed the format of these Football Manager series. I do one season per video. And then I'll show you one match with fully extended highlights uh, so we can watch it. The rest I'm going to record off camera because I love Football Manager. I was going to play this um, off. I was going to play this off camera anyway, but I, I might as well just record it for you guys. So basically, the plan is I want to see how far I can do in ten seasons of Football Manager. This is season three. We'll recap the objectives for this season. I'll show you the team, the starting eleven, the manager transfers, and the player transfers, of course. So, uh, let's start off with last year. Let's quickly recap last year So and the previous season. So, in the first season of the Arsenal career mode, we won the UEFA Champions League, we won the Premier League and the AFL Cup. Last season, we managed to win the Premier League for the second consecutive time, and we also won the FA Cup. We got knocked out of the quarters of the Carling Cup, AFL Capital One, and uh, the Champions League by PSG in the quarters. We did win the World Cup. <laughs> the world, uh, the club world championship, though, which is quite funny. But um, yeah, that's for my managerial role. We did get an interviewed offer at Arsenal, at uh, sorry Barcelona, but um, we didn't get through, unfortunately. So um, yeah, I can't wait to show you the managerial tra changes as well. So transfers wise, we've managed to bring in four new players. We brought in Gray from Leicester. I tried to sign so many right mid right midfielders: Shakiri, Hyungmin Sun. Um, there was so so many. The only person I could get was Gray. We paid forty two million for him, which is quite expensive, but we have the money. He's worth 26, but he's 22 years of age. He's English. We also brought in Rodriguez, um, which is really quite good, 25 years of age. He's going to be my left back from now on. We also brought in Jack Butlin. He's going to be my goalkeeper, simply because we needed a replacement uh, for Peter Cech because he's retired. We also managed to pick up Adnan Janazai for £6 million, which I think is very good. He's worth 9 Manchester United popped him up on the transfer list, and now he's on loan at Sevilla. Unfortunately, um, we did manage to lose Jack Wilshere relatively cheaply. We, shot, we sold Al Naltovic to Real Sociedad, inept as well to Villarreal. We only paid £6 million. That was probably my transfer mistake of the series. Chesney, Chamberlain are free contract players now because they wouldn't accept any contracts. It's a lot harder to make people um, sign contracts in this than football ma uh, in Football Manager than FIFA, of course. So this season, we're going to be playing a four. 4-2 or the 4-3 the 4-3-3 three, three asymmetric um, I like the 4-4-2 because I would ideally like to have him back here Sanchez but he just plays a hell of a lot better sort of like an inside forward role here so we're going to be playing Martial Accardi up front now Martial is out for 2-3 to three much now that could cost us the title if I'm being honest looking at our calendar so he's out July out August and out September <laughs> he could potentially be out all the way to October so that's going to be tough Sanchez on the left, Ozil, Xhaka, Walcott, Rodriguez, Palista, Mustafi, Bellerin, and back, um, Butland. So we have made some changes. Gibbs is going to be dropped for Rodriguez. We'll rotate. Uh, Peter Cech is gone, so we've got Jack Butland. I also tried to side David De Gea Courtois, but I, I only could get Jack Butland. I could have gone with Sandro. Um, I didn't have enough money for Alaba. I quite like Rodriguez. Koscielny's 32. Um, but I think I'm going to have to rotate him. Gabriel Palista and Mustafi will will start. On the bench, we have Ospina, Christian Pulisic, Lucas, Kashani, Fabregas, Gibbs, Coquelin, Ramsey, well, uh, Awobi and Welbeck. I'll probably chuck a, well, a Welbeck up front. Jenkinson, Chambers, Elneny, Adnan, Gray and Batshuayi are out on loan. We managed to pick up Batshuayi for a really, really good price. He's 24 years of age. Um, Chelsea paid 34 million for him. We picked him up for like 10, 11. We have, he's only played three games for Arsenal. He just simply needs game time just to get, um, get a couple of caps under his belt. Gray as well will be good in the future. We can replace him with Theo Walcott. I would have liked to bring in Ox, but. Ox was uh, left on a pre-contract. So, competitions-wise, we're going for the Premier League. I would like to win the Champions League this year. I want to try and win the Champions League or the Premier League. But at the end of the day, we could get sacked. And if we do, I will um, continue on with the series. 
Um, maybe at season five we'll reassess if I want to stay at Arsenal because with that Barcelona job opening, maybe in a couple more years we might be able to get it. We won the FA Cup. We'll try and go for a cup run, but we'll sort of see. Um, let's have a look at the Premier League now. Let's have a look at the managers. So, uh, Eddie Howe's at Bournemouth. Uh, okay, Marcel... Yeah. Marcelli, Marcelli, I can't even fucking say his name. <laughs> the former Napoli manager who won the Serie A is now the Chelsea manager. They've gone through a lot of managers. Alan Pardew is at Crystal Palace. Walter Mazzari is at Everton. Uh, who else have we got here? Gary. Okay. Um, Stephen Clark is at Ipswich. Claudio Ranieri is still at Leicester. Pep Guardiola is now at Liverpool. Jurgen Klopp moved to Atletico Madrid and won the La Liga in his first season. Rafa Benitez is the manager at Manchester City. Jose is still at Manchester. Uh, Fernando, yeah, former Basel manager. He's done all right. Uh, Roberto Di Matteo, the Chelsea legend, is at Norwich. Um... Who else is there? Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. Sam Allardyce, Big Sam, is at Stoke City. Pochettino is still at Tottenham. Mark Hughes is at West Brom. Slavin Bilic is at West Ham. Let's have a look at some of the other leagues now, shall we? Because I'm pretty sure... I'm oh, I'm pretty sure... Um, who is it? Yes, Roberto Mancini is currently the Barcelona mar manager, which is quite cool. Jurgen Klopp is still at Atletico Madrid. And who's Unai Emre is the manager of Real Madrid. Now, if I'm not mistaken, they've been relegated. No, Zinedine Zidane is the manager at Villarreal. I love these manager transfers. They're so, so cool because it really does change uh, football clubs. Let's look at Inter. Let's have a look at Inter Milan. Diego Simeone is at Inter, the former player, of course. Let's go back to Syria. Who's the, okay, the uh, Besiktas manager? Who's at Napoli now? Former Shakhtar Donetsk manager. Uh, let's have a look at Roma. Let's have a look at Florentina. Anyone really, yeah, not really any, who's, oh, Conte. Oh, wow, Conte is back at Juventus. <laughs> That's really quite funny. Uh, let's have a look at Bayern Munich. I'm pretty sure Carlo Ancelotti and Thomas Tuchel are still there. Yeah, Carlo Ancelotti is still in Madrid. Uh, not Madrid. Fucking um, Bayern Munich. Thomas Tuchel is at Dortmund still. Um... Yeah, Bayer Leverkusen won the Bundesliga last year. That's huge. I think that's pretty much it who we, who we want to look at. I want to look at PSG, because who's the PSG manager now? I just typed in PSG and it didn't come up. How about I type in League One? Here we go. Who is the current PSG manager? Frank De Boer, the former Inter Milan manager. So, I think that's pretty much it we, pretty much it we need to recap for you guys. Obviously, we're going to be hopefully um, going to win the Premier League again. Let's hope we don't get sacked. Cross our finger, fingers, but yeah, I don't really know. We'll, we'll, I think we'll address it five seasons. If we win the Premier League for three times in a row, I want to try and stay with, uh, if I could like maybe t send, stay 10 seasons with Arsenal, that would be quite cool. I'm going to be doing 10 seasons. I'll be going to be ending at that, and I'll be showing you my managerial conquest, I guess. Uh, what What is actually at my profile? 69 win rate. We've played 127 games. I've won 88. I've drawn 21 and lost 18. We've scored a, we've got a pretty diff decent goal difference. Contract-wise, my contract expires in 2020. Here's the schedule. Let's just hope with Anthony Martial out, um, he it really isn't too bad. What are our weaknesses? There's not enough quality and depth. That's not entirely true. Right. Okay, guys. I'm going to have to end the... Uh, Gonna have, not end. I'm going to have to cut the part here, and I'll see you guys at the end of the season to see how well we do. Hey guys, welcome to the end of Season 3, and what a season we have had. I could quite possibly get sacked if I don't win the Champions League final. So, let's quickly recap it. The match we're going to play in, the, in today's episode is the Champions League final against our North London rivals, Tottenham Hotspur. Now, speaking of them, they actually won the Premier League. We've had my worst 
Premier League finish within the three seasons. We managed to fin finish fourth. We did get Champions League football, but only very narrowly. Pochettino won the Premier League. They finished fourth and third the other season. West Ham, under the command of Slavin Bilic, came second, followed by Man United. And, of course, we finished in fourth, two points clear of Everton. Competitions-wise, we won the FA Cup. We got knocked out of the EFL, but we're in the Champions League final. Now, what I sort of attribute my lower position is because, obviously, in previous years, in the first season, we won the Champions League, the Premier League, and the EFL. In the second season, we won the Premier League and the FA Cup. Now, in the third season, I find that teams are finding me out a little bit more. We're also in the third season. We've won two consecutive Premier Leagues. We've just lost. We have won the FA Cup, but we have the chance to win our second Champions League final. I think we can go on and do it now. One major thing that happened at the start of the season was Anthony Martial was out for three months. And I sort of put my attention on the Premier League a lot more so than the... um. The, uh, put my put my attention more on the Champions League than the Premier League. And when Martial came back was round about when Champions League football started up again. So we did a lot better in the Champions League than we did the Premier League. We were, what, 12 points clear of Arsenal. We lost to Tottenham, Ipswich, West Ham, Chelsea, which isn't good. So uh, if we don't win the Champions League final here today, we could get sacked, which is bullshit. Zenning's Arsene Wenger didn't win a trophy for 10 years. I brought two Premier Leagues to the club, two FA Cups, one Champions League, one EFL. And if we win here today, I'm going to bring two Champions League. And before I came, Arsenal um, hadn't won a Champions League. So let's have a look through the managers. Let's recap the stats and then let's have uh, the Champions League final. Then we have season four, but we could get sacked and then we might have to move to a new club. So let's move through everyone. Pochettino is still the manager. <laughs> Pep, Guardiola got, Pep Guardiola got sacked at Liverpool, which is huge. Um, West Brom key player Oxlade-Chamberlain. We did unfortunately have to sell him uh, to them. Uh, Slevin Bilic is still there. Uh, Jimothy Floyd Hasselbank is the manager of Bournemouth. Ma uh, Max Allegri is the manager at Chelsea now. Conte has left to join <laughs> Juventus. It's quite funny that they've, they brought in Conte, then sacked him. Now they brought in Allegri. Alan Pardew is still at Crystal Palace. Uh, Walter Mazzari is now the Everton manager. He's been there for a while. Stephen Clark is at Ipswich. They've gotten rid of, rid of Claudio Ranieri. Um, Jürgen, uh, it was Jurgen Klopp got sacked, moved to Atletico Madrid, then won the league. And now Liverpool have hired the sport, uh, Porto manager at Liverpool. They sacked Pep Guardiola. Manchester City and Liverpool sacked him. Um, George Jesus is the sporting manager. Manchester City and Liverpool are going through so many managers. Jose hasn't been doing too well either. Finishing in third. Uh, Fernando here, D Roberto Mina Di Matteo, David Wagner, Nottingham Forest, okay. Tim Sherwood, the former Aston Villa and Spurs manager at QPR. Sam Allardyce, Big Sam, has brought Stoke to 10th, keeping them up, which is great. And that's pretty much it for the managers. I guess I can short through... Uh, sh um, Focus through my own, but my own. But look at this: Anthony Martial, 101 games for Arsenal, 76 goals. He was just such a huge miss for us. Um, if I go by, we might even be able to see where some other managers are. Yeah, so Pep Guardiola doesn't have a job. Um, Ronald Coleman, Coleman is at Shakhtar. Gary Monk doesn't have a job. Eddie Howe doesn't have a job, which is surprising. Rafa Benitez doesn't either. Ranieri, David Moyes is at Aston Villa. Uh, Mike Phelan, Alan Pardew. Where's Jurgen Klopp? Is he still the manager at Atletico Madrid? Yes, he is. Let's actually go through. Let's recap my stats, and then I'll show you the other the other leagues how they shaped up around the world. So, competitions wise, like I said, we managed to get to the final of the Champions League. We won the FA Cup. We got knocked out of the EFL. We won the Community Shield. We're in top form. We had the chance to win the Champions League. And we could get stack, um, sacked. Also, Jack Butland in his first season. We, we This is the first time we didn't have Peter Cech, so that wasn't very good. Akadi scored 34 goals. Anthony Martial, 21. Between them, they scored 55 goals, and we didn't win the Premier League. Uh, I really attribute that to my... Um, 
yeah, Anthony Martial being out for a little bit. And then, of course, uh, Jack Butland didn't have a very good season for me. Maybe I need might need a better goalkeeper. Anthony Martial with the most assists. Walcott with the most uh, distance. He's 30 as well. Mustafi with the most key tackles. Least conceded is Matthew Ryan, the Australian from Everton. Look at that shit. Jack Butland didn't even make top eight. The new Stoke goalkeeper did. That's incredibly disappointing. Most clean sheets. Kante with the tackles. But that's pretty much it. Look at my average player ratings. All of my players got into the top five. And we managed to finish in fourth. We played all right, but we just conceded a lot of goals. As you see here, Jack Butland, only a 6.9. The only player to get lower than that. He's only worth 10 million, 26. I thought he was, would come a lot better. Yeah, not good. Not good enough, unfortunately. I think that's it for all the competitions we really need to show. Champions League-wise, yeah, you most want to have a look. Theo Walcott has still travelled the most distance. Tactics team report. I think that's pretty much it. We can't edit our money at the moment just yet. So the board is insecure at the moment with me. Um, they're pretty much pissed of me being in the in the Premier League, not doing too well. They like the away win against Arsenal, but I'm insecure. I feel like if I don't win the Champions League here, I most likely will get sacked and we might have a new team in Season 4. So this is going to be tough. It is at Old Trafford, which is going to be close. So let's actually look through um, a couple of the other leagues. Let's go through Barcelona. So Roberto Mancini is still the manager at Barcelona. He won the pre He won the league. Unai Emre is the Real Madrid manager. Jurgen Klopp is still the Atletico Madrid manager. Is Zinedine Zidane? No. Zidane has no job at the moment. Uh, let's have a look at Bayern, uh, Bayern Munich. Carlo Ancelotti is still there. In the... in Oh, okay. Dortmund won. Okay. Thomas Tuchel is still the manager. Bayern came second. Bayer Leverkusen actually won it uh, last, not last season, but the season before, which is really, no, yeah, last season, sorry, which is very cool. Um, I think that's pretty much it. We've recapped most of the managers. I guess we can go to PSG, but that might not show up. We might have to type in League One. Yeah, we will. So who, who won the league? PSG, who's the manager there? Still Frank De Boer. We could go to Serie A. Look at Juventus. Con uh, Conte is still the manager. They won Syria. Napoli. Inter. Diego Simeone is still at Inter Milan. Um, the Turkish manager there. All right, cool. I think that's pretty much it. Okay, in the Champions League final against Tottenham at Old Trafford. We're going to be playing a 4-4-2. Martial Licardi leading the line. Sanchez, Ozil, Xhaka, Walcott, Rodriguez, uh, Gabriel, Palista, Mustafi, Bellerin, and Jack Butland in goal. I've got Espina, Christian Pulisic, Lucas, Koscielny, Fabregas, Gibbs, and Coquelin on the bench. Uh, Sanchez is 30, so he's going to get a little bit past it. Ozil is 30 as well, and so is Walcott. So we're going to need to start phasing these players out in Season three, if season 4 if we're still the ma manager, sorry. But we do have some replacements, of course. We've got Christian Pulisic, who I brought in to play on that left-hand side, 20 years of age. Awesome. I've also brought in uh, Dimitri Gray, who's back on loan at Leicester, played 30 matches this season, three goals, four assists, got a 7.0. Uh, we loaned him back. We've actually bought him already. He's going to play on the right for instead of Walcott. The central midfield position, I haven't really got anyone that well. Coquelin could be sold because he's not accepting his contract, and it does expire soon, so unfortunately we might have to move him on. Ramsey's okay in the midfield, but I sort of feel like, yeah, I, I, I sort of feel like he, he's not he's not good enough to replace Ozil. Um Lucas is also 30 as well. So let's get stuck into the Champions League final against Tottenham Hotspur. We're fighting for our job here today. This is going to be tough. This is the biggest test we've had in the series. We finished first for the first two seasons. Now we finished fourth. Thank God we got Champions League football at least. But I wanted to focus on the Champions League this one, this time around. Seedings, we got knocked out in the quarters to um, PSG last season. So, Tottenham are playing a 4-2-3-1. Harry Kane leading the line. Marco here. Okay, on the right. Christian Eriksen, Lamella, 
Dembele, Ali, Davis, Vertonghen, Vimmer, Adler. They've got Mario Balotelli on the bench. I didn't know that. I wanted to sign Mario in the first season. He moved to Celta Vigo, did all right, and then he's gone to Tottenham. <laughs> uh, Rose, Wanyama, Josh Onoma, he's a very good player. Uh, Kieran Trippier as well. So let's get stuck into Tottenham here today. It's going to be a tough one. Simpsy is going to shake Pochettino's hand for him. This is huge because obviously he can win his first Champions League, Pochettino. So he's going to give it absolutely everything. And he's already won the Premier League. Ozil to Sanchez. Oh, that's going to be a counter-attack here. Harry Kane finds Christian Eriksen. Plays it wide to Lamella. And we're 1-0 down in the Champions League final. Just before the 13th minute, Harry Kane scores... We're 1-0 down. Lamella, Rodriguez not quick enough to track him back. Lamella pops it into the box. Harry Kane, uncontested, cool, calm and collected. Fires it at Jack Butland's hand. And we're really missing the absence of Peter Cech this season, most definitely. He did retire, of course. That's the only reason I tried to get him. I couldn't actually get any good goalkeepers. I tried to get Courtois. I tried to get David De Gea. Jack Butland was the only player really in my, my price range. And... Who we could really get Dembele breaking. Come on. We are Arsenal. We can go on and win this. Akadi has Martial in the box. Akadi finds Anthony Martial. We answer the call. Scores his 33rd, 30, <laughs> 33rd goal of the season. And it's 1-1 at Old Trafford. The two London sides. You'd think you'd play it like... I don't know, Chelsea or like West Ham to make it even. But we're going north at Manchester, at Old Trafford. Man, it's 1-1. Like I said, we're fighting for my job. If we, if I don't win this, I wouldn't be surprised if I get sacked. But uh, Christian Eriksen, the great Dane, the Viking, scores his 11th goal of the season. It's 2-1. Christian uh, Butland, man, you've got to be saving better than that. Christian Eriksen gets it with his left. Come on, Mustafi. Why didn't you put your body into it? It's going to be tough. So basically, the objective for this Football Manager series is to see how I can do within 10 seasons. I've won two Premier Leagues, two FA Cups, one Champions League, one EFL Cup, Carling Cup, Capital One. We're going for my second Champions League here now. We're 2-1 down at halftime, which is going to be difficult to come back from. It's been a while since I've, yeah, been 2-1 down like this. Deli Alley. I still think we can come back from this. So we'll have to make some substitutions on the 65th. Akadi to Ozil. Ah, gets intercepted. Martial! Oh, my God. What a huge mistake from the Tottenham Hotspur defense. It was Marco to play it back to Kevin Vimmer, was it? You know, it's Deli Alley not tracking him. Anthony Martial, he came from France. The English press said he had no chance, and he's just scored again there. It's 2-2. Tottenham have just made two substitutions, so I'm going to match it so we don't get outplayed. So we've got a couple of options here. Martial Accardi. We have Cesc Fabregas, but he looks exhausted. Um, he doesn't look very good to play. I might have to leave Ozil on. I could bring on Coquelin for Xhaka instead. I think I'm going to do that, make him a ball winner. Um, we've got Lucas. We've got uh, Christian Pulisic. I would have brought on Fabregas, but his um, sharpness is not good enough. It needs to be a lot higher to come off for Ozil. Maybe in the 70th we can do that. Kishelny, Lucas. I want to keep my front two because that's working well. I want to also wait for a little bit before I take Sanchez off. So we'll bring on, we'll do one change. We'll bring on Coquelin for Xhaka. Just try and strengthen the midfield a little bit more. In the 70th, we'll take Sanchez and Ozil off. We'll bring on Pulisic and we'll bring on Fabregas. Coquelin starts it off, finding Bellerin. That's a nice ball over the top to Akadi. It's 3-2 in the Champions League final. Akadi scores his 48th goal of the season. Bellerin, Ozil, what a ball over the top to Akadi on the volley, thumps it home for Arsenal. It's 3 2. They know they're fighting for me. They're fighting for the job. Should I park the bus now? We're 3 2 up. Should I go with a 5 at the back formation and park the bus like do the Jose Mourinho park the bus? I'm tempted. I'm very, very tempted to do this. 
Let's do it. Let's park the bus. Let's park that fucking bus. Let's go with the five at the back. We're going to have to change the squad a little bit. Who are we going to leave up front, though? Probably Martial. Pop Martial up top. Make him the complete forward. Um, I'll probably take off Sanchez and bring on Pulisic. We'll just sort of see how this is going to go. Walcott might have to come off. Maybe even Akadi. We'll drop Coquelin back here. We need a central midfielder and we need another defender. Let's bring on Koscielny for Walcott. Actually, I might bring off Akadi. He's just scored there. But I think Martial will be better up front. Or maybe I should leave Akadi on. He might be better up there as an advance forward. Yeah, I think he is, unfortunately. Even though Martial's on a hat trick. This is tough. Let's just do let's just undo everything for the time being. Let's go with the five. It's tough because I want both of them on the pitch. Or we could leave Sa or we could actually take Sanchez off and put Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do actually. We'll switch it like this. We'll put Martial as the inside forward and we'll keep we'll keep Akadi as the target man. We will bring Koscielny on for Walcott. But I don't want to play Koscielny in the key. I want to play Mustafi there instead. And then we'll keep Koscielny there. We'll keep, we'll keep Pulisic, uh, no, uh, Polista where he is. We've got a couple more substitutions. I don't think I'm going to bring on Christian Pulisic now. I think I'm going to have to bring on Cesc Fabregas because he's my only midfielder. Let's do that then. So we'll drop Coquelin back here and we'll play Fabregas and Ozil in the middle. Let's switch that here. Right, we need to quickly change their their positions to be more in line because this is, this is an old formation that I use. Um... And it's also not got all the right players in it. Still works incredibly well, though. Right, that's pretty much it. I think I'm happy with that now. So we're going to play the five at the back. Rodriguez, Paulista, Mustafi, Koscielny, Bellerin. We've got Coquelin defending, Fabregas, Urza, and then we've got Akadi and Martial up front on the break. Let's confirm the changes. Let's park that bus, put the five at the back, try and counter as best as we can, and hopefully we can claim the Champions League final. Walcott breaking away, pops it over the top to Akadi. The five at the formation... Oh, the five at the four, uh, the five at the back formation has come through. We just need to hold on, guys. We have a free kick in a dangerous situation, and we've just sealed that fucking deal. Akadi rises to the occasion, makes it four to over Tottenham Hotspur, and it looks like we're going to win our second Champions League. Akadi wins the header. Lamella didn't even make an attempt, and Hugo Lloris has conceded four goals in today's episode. So we also have the goal up now, and we switch to the five at the back. We're two goals ahead, which is fantastic. We just need to defend valiantly. Rodriguez wins it. Martial gets tackled. One Yama on the ball. It's okay. As long as we soak up the pressure, it's fine. We can let him pass around in the midfield all they want. As long as we get the, the tackles in eventually. Trippier finds Harry Kane. It's 4-3. Uh, we need to be doing a lot better than that. We seriously do. Eriksen, that was bad defending. Why isn't... <sighs> No one's going for that. Look how many players, like, look how Fabregas and just Coquelin are, are clustering up there. Come on, we're still up 4-3. We've gone with the five at the back. We just need to soak up the pressure. Just relax, guys. We need the mentality to push us through. We can win this. Somebody's screaming on the touchline. It's 4-3 up. Two minutes of extra time remaining. Jack Butland bombs it out only as far as Vertonghen. We're going to get one last counter-attack in. No, we're not. No, 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 no. Close this down. I don't care if someone gets a red. <gasps> oh, my God. Kieran Trippier bombs it into the box to Jack Butland. He's going to bomb this one clear. Can we win it back? And we have, we have won the Champions League final by the smallest of margins. 4-3 against Tottenham. Man, that was so... So fucking close. Holy shit. We lift the Champions League final. Atletico Madrid won it last season. Oh, wow. Jurgen Klopp won it last season. He also won the title for... Um, he also won the uh, La Liga title, which is nuts. Oh, that is sensational. Does the board... What does the board think of me now? Akadi wins the golden boot. We have three players in the dream team of the year. Polista, Ozil, and Akadi. Okay. 
That is awesome. What a sigh of relief. What does the board think of me now? Stable. My job is stable, which is very, very good. So we have currently 68k in the bank. We're going to have to change it so we can pay off our wages at the moment. I will try and bring in some new players for Season 4. But it looks like my job is secure. And we have Season 4 of the Arsenal Career Mode coming up next. We finished Top 4 for this season. And we also won the Champions League. Looking at my managerial roles, here we go. So in the first season, when we won the we won the Capital One Cup, the Premier League and the Champions League. In the second season, we won the Premier League and the FA Cup. Then in the third season, we won the FA Cup and the Champions League. My my win percentage has gone down to 66. It was at 70. Then went to 69, then to 66. Like I said, I think teams are sort of finding out the 4-4-2 now. We might actually have to change it up a bit. But we will have to once Sanchez, Ozil, and Walcott will be phased out of the side because they are getting a little bit older. I might need to get a new goalkeeper. I'm, I don't trust Jack Butland anymore. He's a good English goalkeeper. I thought he would have just been a hell of a lot better than what he was. But, guys, thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. I can't stress this enough. If you want to see more Football Manager on the channel, the best thing you guys can do is leave a like and a comment. Also, check out my social media links, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. If you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, maybe even Football Manager, uh, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. My name has been Simsy. Take care. Goodbye. Mares. Whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous. With the layup. Marco Royce. Holy shit.